Welcome back everyone, it's Stray Faye here with another episode of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. In the last episode, we snuck through the restricted section of the library to find a history book to find out more about the Chamber of Secrets. So far all we found out that the heir of Slytherin can open the chamber. So we're gonna have to find some more information about that later. But off screen, I collected some some beans. Because we did sneak around the library. I blew a lot of stink pellets. So I think I'm gonna need to buy some more. Oh god. <laughs> Percy! <laughs> you almost caught me. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank goodness the cutscene saved me. Alright, I'd like some of these. 20 Bertie Bots every flavor beans. I'd like to buy that, please. You can use stink pellets to get out of all kinds of nasty situations, Harry. Yep, I know full well about that. Let's see, I could use some more luminous Not balloons too. Luminous balloons? What do they cost? 20 Bertie Bots every flavor beans. I'd like to buy that, please. Thank you very much. I can buy probably another pack. Balloons are great for distracting people. Let's see. I could buy another pack of stink pellets. I think I might do Three that, even though like. I can only fit nine. A pack of stink pellets? Twenty birdy bots, every flavor beans. I'll I take it. That, I won't have to. I won't have to worry. Use stink pellets to get out of all kinds of nasty situations, Harry. Because you are going to need some for the next night. Although, we're going to be doing day stuff soon, so I'm going to have to worry about that for a bit. Let's see, let's equip some spells. And let's head out of here and get to bed. Without getting caught by Percy. I do wonder if Percy actually takes away points from Gryffindor. Being a Gryffindor himself. And your only crime being in, in, in the study room. <laughs> Alright, well. Let us go to, go to bed. End the day. I guess we'll get to see the house points update. We didn't lose anything, so should be fine. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. <laughs> okay, you got you got three points during the night, sure. Sure. Oh this game. Alright, is Hermione or Ron gonna tell us what class we have next? Let's find out! Morning, Ron. It's Transfiguration first thing, isn't it? Yeah, first floor. I'll meet you there. First floor Transfiguration. Alright. <laughs> but first, before we go to class, we got a new spell, Scourge. Which will allow us to open more chests. So oh, goody. More wizard cards. So pretty much this episode we're gonna we're gonna be doing that before we before we head off to our next Hello, Hello what? The air of Is it true? And did you really order that snake to attack your classmates? None of it's true. And I didn't order the snake to attack my classmates. I told it to leave them alone. I'll believe you, Harry. Though thousands wouldn't. Thanks. <laughs> Everyone hates Harry Potter. Okay. This Gilroy Lockhart like dances with werewolves. Um. They obviously don't care that if I'm the heir of Slytherin or not. You might be the heir of Slytherin and not realize it, Potter. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we found out Harry could talk to snakes like two episodes ago. Guess that's important. And let's see, gonna need to collect some more beans. 
Hello, what are you? You are Ravenclaw? I don't feel very comfortable talking to you at the moment, Potter. Well, this. <laughs> Everybody hates me now. Because I tried to save them. Oh, school. Yeah, I want to collect some more beans because there are more minigames to play, being a new day and all. So let's collect a few. See, our first card should be on the sixth floor. One of these classrooms. I guess I'll go in this one. There it is. And... Yeah, just get rid of the goo. Number 71. Queen Maeve. Legendary witch who trained young sorcerers in Ireland prior to the establishment of Hogwarts, School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Oh, cool. She was <laughs> she was like a teacher before there was a school. Okay. <laughs> They're all gross, and I can't collect this one again. No. Alright, that's the only one on the sixth floor, so. Let's head to the next floor. Do, 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 do. It's not one on the fifth floor, no. It's one on the fourth floor, however. Do, do, do. There we go. <laughs> really on the couch, and I can't get it, of course. Of course. Hmm, I don't remember being in any of these classrooms. Well, there it is. All the way over there. I'm gonna charge it up. <laughs> it kind of looks like... Hey, let me get this. Let me grab this first. Number 99. Daisy Dodderidge. First landlady of the Leaky Cauldron. Simple enough. <laughs> when you charge it up, it kind of looks like bubbles. I suppose it's... Ooh. What the... <laughs> What in the world? How did that backfire? Okay. I probably shouldn't play around with this because I'm going to lose more beans. Thanks, game. Thanks. Alright, there's only one on the fourth floor. Let's go to the third floor. So if I you remember right, there was... There was a gooey chest in Gilderoy Lockhart's classroom, or <laughs> AKA Defense Against the Dark Arts. It's technically not his class. <laughs> the teacher changes every year. Hi, guys. I don't feel very comfortable talking to you at the moment. Oh, come on, man. We're like both Gryffindor. We should just be on the same team. How about you guys? I don't feel very comfortable talking this... to you at the moment, Potter. <laughs> Gryffindor hates us. Slytherin hates us. We can't win. We can't win today. Ooh, there's a lot in this one. I should probably check out the, the boxes that are in the secret passage. Those give a lot. No, hey, you're just hanging out in here. I don't feel very comfortable talking to you at the moment, Potter. No one. No one does, apparently. Alrighty. Well, I'm just here to steal this chest here. Get another wizard card. Number 93. Heathcote Barbary. Plays rhythm guitar with the popular wizarding band, the Weird Sisters. And we got ten cards there. Got a little, little itty bitty bit of stamina. <laughs> it really doesn't increase that much, huh? Oh no. <laughs> Wait. Oh no. You better move, boy. Okay. It's so like he, he could have he could have just locked me here, locked me in here. He didn't move. To the grand staircase, and I must load again. How sad. But 
luckily it wasn't for too long. Alright, let's head over to the second floor. And let's see, which one is the secret passage? No. Is it this one? No. <laughs> this is the one that leads up to the third floor, but it's a slide. Is it this one? There it is. Here's <laughs> here's my special bean boxes. Yeah, this should give me plenty. Hit it until the beans are disappearing. Better collect them. <laughs> do, 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 do. It probably would be best to cut this out, but oh well. Gimme, gimme, gimme. This might be enough. I know we have we have a few mini games, so I'm not sure how much money they'll ask for. I know. I know as you go along they'll ask for more and more more beans just to play. All right, let's go into the library cuz there's there's some goo we can get rid of in there. Got to go through two load screens. <laughs> Yay, my favorite. Well, at least there are no prefects in here, but it's still kind of spooky. Still spooky in there. Still would not want to study there. Okie doke. A little librarian that we can't talk to. And can't open that one. Here's a gooey door. <laughs> so yeah, there's still one more thing. One more spell that we need to to get through that door over there. Oh great, there's a ghost in here. No, no. Oh, an owl, an owl treat? Okay. This is not the time <laughs> to get hit by ghosts. And I hate that they still move around while I'm like collecting stuff, so... Oh god, is it here? There it is! Are you gonna make me lose my beans? Number 10, Burdock Muldoon. Chief of Wizard Councils? From 1448 to 50. Not very long. Two years. Get out of here. Ghosts in the library. So you guys should you guys should really fix that. <laughs> kinda kinda inconvenient for students trying to get books. Trying to get a book? Well, you're gonna die, because ghosts are gonna damage you. God, Hogwarts is such a terrible school when I think about it. There's so many like safety hazards. Like not only are the class is dangerous, just just walking around puts you in great peril. Okie doke. That's that in the library. There's one on the first floor. Don't want to go in the classroom, however. Or, or our trans transfiguration class. I wanna go into one of the empty classrooms. And that's not it, I forgot. <laughs> this is the room with more rooms. Got so many doors here. That one's locked. This one's not locked. There it is. There it is. And we get... Number 84, Roland Keg. P President of English Gobstones team. He's still alive. He's pretty darn old. What, what the heck is the Gobstone team? I wonder which card it was. I actually figured out 
what one of the cards meant. There it is. I, I as I was reading the Chamber of Secrets, I found out what a squib was. It's pretty much a non-magic person who was born to magical parents. So I guess this guy got mad because none of his none of his sons learned magic. That's that. Mr. Mr. Filch was a was a squib. That's why he hated all the kids, cause they could all do magic and he couldn't. He was bitter. Alright, we finally open this chest that's on the ground floor. And we get Number 67, Justus Pillywickle. Celebrated head of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. Okay. And out we go to the outside. Got some mini games to play. I don't think Mr. Filch is even a character in this game. There's so many characters that they cut out in this game. It's kind of a bummer. I guess they're just just trying to make a simple story for this game. I mean, it's pretty impressive what they got here. It's still a fun game. But like you kind of you kind of miss some of the characters. All right, Neville. Let's do some gnome dunking. Alright, so it shouldn't be too hard to beat that. <laughs> Ooh, two for one! Two for the price of one! Nice, try not to miss. Hey ya! Number 21, Lord Stoddard Withers. Breeder of flying horses. Ooh, cool. Like the, the Pegasus. I remember seeing those in the Goblet of Fire. They pulled, they pulled the chariot where all the, the pretty girls were <laughs> from the other school. All right, let's do the one that I hate and have to pay for. No, I'm tossing. I remember this roof. We flew around here earlier. Bet you can't throw a gnome further than the current record, Potter. Fancy a try? It'll cost 20 beans. Ooh, okay. I'll certainly try. Die. You don't belong in this world. Alright, let's try to go for a multiplier. <laughs> yeah, I missed horribly, but I still got the blue ring. Okay. Now if I could just do that two more times. <laughs> Go, please. Oh uh, no, just twenty points. Might have to go. If I fail this, I'm gonna have to go collect more money, which is kind of a bummer. Okay, I don't really like how separated the rings are. Die. <laughs> Poor guys. <laughs> Poor guys. Go oh no. <laughs> it was set up so nicely too. Alright, last shot. Oh man, they're set up pretty nicely too. Go nope. <laughs> Let's try this again. Yep. Please? Yes. Have a wizard card for beating the record. Ooh, that was a close one. Number seventeen, Morgan Le Fay. King Arthur's half sister, dark sorceress, enemy of Merlin. Okay, she's the bad guy. All right, now we just have. The fun part. Get get to do some broom racing. I wonder if I have enough money for this. Actually, oops. Thirty beans, maybe. Let's see. Let's see how much, 
how much they are. Fancy race, Harry. It'll cost ten beans. Ten for the first one? Hmm. Might not be able to afford all of them. Let's see, is this a Slytherin girl? Seems like a pretty short course here. Let's get our speed up so we can catch up. Oh yeah, it seems like this one's gonna be short. I can't even... I'm going so fast that the rings can't form fast enough. Oh god, let's try not to miss the finish line if possible. That would indeed suck. And we did it. You won well, Potter. Have this wizard card. Number thirty-one, Balfour Blaine. All right, this one's a duplicate. We'll be using that for trading later. See, are you Slytherin? No, you are. You're blue, so you are Ravenclaw, according to this game. Come on, Potter. Let's race again. I know I'll win this time. It'll cost 15 beans. 15, alright. So we won't, probably won't be able to afford the next one. Oh, gee, you pushed me. Alright, this is kind of weird. We're going down. We're going down in this one. This one's going to be a bit longer. It still should give us enough time to catch up. Here we go. Picking up speed. <laughs> She's on her tail! Oh god, this is gonna be a nice turn here. Whee! This, guy, this one's kinda of fun. I see the finish line. And we did it! Number 33, Bowman Marjorie Banks. Pioneer of herbology and collector of many rare and magical flowers. Discovered gillyweed. Alright, he he discovered gillyweed. He discovered gillyweed. Which was which one was the one who discovered what it was for? The one who drowned her drowned herself? Let's see which one. She had a bucket. So yeah, it's kind of weird that he would discover it, but didn't know what it was for. <laughs> Here it is. Yeah, she discovered the use of gillyweed. So what were they using it before? Was it just a plant that they grew? Come on, Potter. Let's race again. I know I'll win this time. It'll cost 15 beans. 15. I can't. I can't afford that. All right. Oh. I'll, I'm gonna be right back, just gonna collect a few more beans. And we are back with more muns! So let's talk to Neville and do the last race. We're back. Hi, what'd you say to a race? It'll cost 15 beans. There you go. Alright, this one seems kind of short as well. <laughs> I hope she doesn't make us repeat it. That'd be silly. This seems awfully familiar. Oh god. Woo! Seems like the first one we did. Oh god, sharp turn. Okay, we're there. <laughs> you won well, Potter. Have this wizard card. Number thirty-four, Donahan Tremlett. Bass player with the popular wizarding band, the Weird Sisters. <laughs> I got more of their band. Well, that's the last card for the day. Is she gonna kick us out? Yeah, she's gonna kick us out. No more, no more races today. We're gonna have to wait for tomorrow. But anyway, I'm gonna actually cut this episode short. I know it's, 
I know it's kind of boring just watching, watching me collect cards. But in the next episode, we'll go to our Transfiguration class. Alright, hope to see you there. Bye-bye.